But a better night for barn dancing. And here comes Bill Bailey at Bus Out Western Thank you, Mark. My gracious, that was some speech to get things started here. Welcome to your neighbor. Welcome to the old American barn dance. Hang up your hat and coat on the old hall tree here, and I'll get action started for you right now with some friends I know you like. Johnny and Jack and the Tennessee Mountain Boys. Here come the Hummingbirds. say right now how tickled we are to have Johnny and Jack and the Tennessee Mountain Boys come up here and visit us from Shreveport, Louisiana, the old Louisiana hairline. Well, I tell you, it's good to have you. And that's right, we're all set to call the roll here. There's Roy King, there's Pee Wee King with Red Stewart and the band, the Dessert Sisters, and Mr. Guitar Picker himself, Capitals Merle Travis. Somebody else, might a special here, wants to see you. And those are the folks that provide to you the old American bar dance. So now take heed to what they have to say, and it'll only take me one minute to get Mary Jane, Corky, and Sandy ready to sing for you. Bill, do you know who I was? The other night, William told me to every single day. Oh, wait, wait, no, wait, wait, wait just a second. No, wait just a second, girls. Who put all that nonsense into your pretty head? for goodness sake? You could be a bird. All right. Oh, a little bird told me you've been cheat, cheat, cheat. Oh, a little bird told me just who you've been meeting. I told that crazy bird, I didn't believe a word. That my trust in you was too complete. Body answer, cheat, cheat, cheat. A little bird told me my heart would be broken. But I just laughed and thought that bird was joking. But I'm not laughing anymore. Just who you've been meeting I told that crazy bird I didn't believe a word That my trust in you was too complete But the answer, cheat, 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 cheat A little bird told me my heart would be broken But I just laughed and thought that bird was choking But I'm not laughing anymore
about that. Now, you better keep your mind on what you're doing here. Every time the girls start to sing, my pee-wee, you get rambunctious. Of course, I can understand it. It was pretty sweet singing, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah, does a man have a mind? Have I got a hole in the head? No, no, sir. That's good. <laughs> you know, that's what I like about you and I. Uh, we've got utter faith and... Uh, Confidence in oh, femininity. Yeah. Sure, we great lovers, aren't we? Oh, yeah. Oh, no, Roy King, fella. Oh, no, Roy King, no lover. He doesn't have any confidence no, in women. No, no, no faith in them whatsoever. Like no. that song he's about to sing. I know which one you're talking about. Did you hear him? You, you tell him. I know which one. Sweet face and a cold heart. Yeah, he's going pretty well on Mercury, but can't understand it, can he? <laughs> Maybe let's, it's let's, good. Let's it's good. That's right. singing away there, and I could tell that Pee Wee King enjoyed it. Uh, 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 king? King. Anybody beat a pair of kings? <laughs> got a couple of them. I can, Bill. Look around and see what I got. The whole band here. That's a full house. Oh, I give up. I give and up. they got a good number. Are you ready, Red Stewart? See you in I wanted you so last night, dear. I wanted to hold you tight I needed the love you could give me But where were you last night? I call and I call all the folks that we know No one had seen you Oh, where did you go? If you just stayed home, everything would have been right. But where were you last night? Looking for you I've wondered if you were all right I stopped in the place as we go, dear But where were you last night? They all said you'd been there And you were so gay you left with another where you wouldn't say if you just stayed home everything would have been right but where were you last night hey. 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 Hey.
You got his pencil and paper out, hadn't you? Yeah. <laughs> what are you writing, boy? I'm just making a sort of a list here of all the names of the fellers that I can whip. That you can write? <laughs> so I can what? <laughs> whoop. What yeah. you got down there? Uh, Willie Pep and uh, Tony Dale and Jake Lamotter and Joe Lewis and yeah. Bill Bailey and Rocky Marciano. Uh, uh, Jackie, and, Jackie hmm? read that again, will you? Yeah, yeah, sure enough. Uh, Willie Pep. Tony Zale, Jake LaMotter, and Joe Lewis, and Bill Bailey, and oh, Rocky Crossley, Rocky Murray. Uh, Chicky, hmm? you mean to tell me you think you can whip me? I... You can't whip me. You, you mean? No, you can't whip me. Well, I reckon I'll take your name off of there. <laughs> Solve that in a hurry, anyway. <laughs> All right, Bill Bailey's a car, did he? <laughs> One thing about him, though, don't never go out to dinner with him. He invited me out there to his house the other night. I swan to goodness, I like to starve to death. That man didn't have enough, didn't have enough to eat on the table to feed a pigeon. And not only that, he must be a little nearsighted, because I sat right next to him and he eat out of my plate all the time. <laughs> His wife is awful nice, though. She's a pretty little thing. Bill Bailey's wife. You ever meet her? Oh, she treats you just as nice. Not only that, they're just like a couple lovebirds. There ain't nothing she wouldn't do for him, and there ain't nothing he wouldn't do for her. That's the way they go through life, just doing nothing for each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. We, he, he got me a room in a hotel when I come to town, and, and of course, I wasn't used to that blame hotel room there. It was the blamedest hotel I ever seen. It's down in, in the ground there. You, I mean, it's one of them basement uh, things, you know, down apartment there, room in the basement. Yeah. So far down there in the basement, uh, John L. Lewis stopped by and hung a lamp on my hat and said, you can work three more days. <laughs> <laughs> it's awful crowded. Oh, crowded up something awful down there. I, I was sure glad to get out of there this morning when I come down here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I've been down here all day. <laughs> That blame basement apartment is so crowded you only got room for a bed over here in this corner and a, and a dresser over there in that corner. And the, the, and the dresser ain't got drawers, it's got shorts. <laughs> <laughs> Awful crowded again. But I, I've been down here all day. Ma told me to be awful careful when I come down here at the barn dance because she said she was afraid of them girls that was down here. And I said, well, shucks, Ma, you don't have to worry about them girls. <laughs> They're uh, pretty well educated, and she says, yes, I know, but you be careful anyway. What are you going to do if you get down there at that there barn dance, and them, you run on to some of them girls that'll just up and kiss you at the drop of your hat? I said, well, shucks, I reckon I just all the time be dropping my hat. <laughs> <laughs> get that hat and get on out of here. Good goodness, Jiggy. My goodness gracious. Well, he's the president of the Tall Stories Club, that's what he is. By the way... Hoosier land claims him. Well, maybe I should say he claims Hoosier land. I don't know.